Oh my god, I have an Orenda and my channel is Orenda Power. What the hell? Such a coincidence. Oh my god, I have another goldfish and a third one. Wow, let's talk about that. Okay, so the most important thing you need to know about goldfish is the actual tank size required. For only one goldfish, you need a 20 gallon. For two goldfish, you need a 30 gallon. And for three goldfish, you need a 40 gallon. This is a 44 gallon. And right now, it might look a little bit large for only three goldfish. But remember, these fish, they grow to be at least 10 inch. Another big thing is filtration. I have two filters in this aquarium. So I have the sponge filter, which they love. They love to play with the bubbles. But I also have this massive filter that is able to filter uh, like a hundred gallon of water per hour. So oh, look at all this water and it keeps floating and it keeps going, it keeps going until you reach the sea. So many water and I don't know the pH of it. So I must know, I must ask. Please! Don't have the power! What is the pH of the water? Please! So, for the pH, uh, goldfish, they are not picky at all. They can survive in a very wide range of pH, but it is preferable to go for neutral to 7.5. So, 7 to 7.5, this is the best, but really goldfish, they are able to thrive in many type of pH. Okay, now what about the temperature? What is the ideal range of temperature for your goldfish? The goldfish actually like it cold or warm cold, but never too hot. This doesn't mean you need to put them in the freezer though, because that could potentially kill them. In all seriousness, this means that the goldfish will enjoy a temperature of 18 to 24 Celsius. Goldfish, look at their fins. Uh, they're very delicate fish that will fall prey to many fin nippers. Also, they have big mouth. And the bigger they get, the hungrier they will be. And they will try to eat smaller tech mates. But what fish can you actually put with them? Well, one option would be the feeder fish, also known as the minnows. These fish, they like the same temperature as a goldfish, and for the most part, they are not super aggressive, yet they grow to a bigger size than most other community fish, meaning you can technically keep them with goldfish. Now, this will be controversial, but some species of uh, Corridora catfish can be good tank mates. In fact, Bendit, my oldest fish, have lived with goldfish and he is now six year old. So, uh, curry catfish, some species, such as the browns curry catfish, the albino curry catfish, and uh, this species that I <laughs> currently don't remember the name, uh, they are all excellent choices as they are not aggressive and yet they can defend themselves uh, with their armor type body. Uh, of course, not all species of rainbow fish are like this. There is only a few that can manage to live in colder water. But uh, for the most part, I haven't had any problem. Also, the rainbow fish really enjoy the same pH. And since they are very big, they will not fall prey to the goldfish once they grow up. But now, apart from keeping other goldfish, I will talk about the last and probably the best option if you want to keep something else with a goldfish. Snails. Many species of snails are perfect for your goldfish. They love the same type of pH and they love uh, the same type of water. They are very peaceful in nature. Uh, they will not bother the goldfish and the goldfish in general will not bother the snail. Whatever you do, don't make the same mistake that I did with keeping goldfish with cichlids. Also, most tropical fish are, as I said, not really suitable for goldfish. What do you feed your goldfish? 
Well, this is the fun part. Goldfish, they eat absolutely everything. You can give them flakes, you can give sinking pellets or floating pellets. So some people seem to think that bare bottom aquarium with no decoration whatsoever is perfect for a goldfish. And in fact, it can be a good option. But for me, I like to put some decoration in there. You need to be careful though, not to have any pointy object. So one of the last thing I will talk about uh, for today's episode is maintenance of the aquarium. As I have mentioned, goldfish, they are messy eaters uh, and they require a lot of filtration, but they also require a lot of water change. So at least one 25% uh, water change every week or so. Uh, but if the water is clean, you can always uh, test it. Hello, Quill. This is one of my biggest fish. Uh, he is a gentle giant. Uh, this is why I keep them, uh, the goldfish with him. But yeah, overall goldfish, they are not super hard to keep as long as you have a very big aquarium and that you understand that many of the other species of fish won't go well with them. Goldfish, they are really nice fish. And um, even though, you know, some, t some people might seem uh, to think that this aquarium is fairly empty, which in fact it is, uh, the goldfish are so enjoyable that uh, you know, it's it's a fun pet to keep. And uh, if you are ma maintaining your aquarium water pristine clean, your fish, they can survive to be 25 year old, which is my age. How crazy is that? It's going to outlive your cat, your dog, your parrot. No, maybe not your parrot, but well, if you put your parrot in the blender, maybe. <laughs> Did I really say to put a parrot in a blender? I think it is time for me to end the video. So this was Macintosh, the first Orenda on Orenda Power. This is McLovin, a beautiful little calico goldfish. And this is McVader, a telescope eye goldfish. If you want to know more, and if you think I miss one or two bit of information, let me know in the comment section. Also, make sure to share, like, and subscribe for more content like this one. Peace out!